Veterans Day is right around the corner, Sunday, and uh, having myself, I was part of that sandwich. My my youngest, my uh, my dad was a veteran, World War II vet. My uh, oldest, Ryan, is a captain in the Army now, having graduated from West Point. So, and, and Jerry and I have been very dedicated to the veterans here in Santa Clarita for many, many years uh, with a number of projects, and, and we're continuing to be very supportive. And I'm proud and pleased to announce that we're adding an addition to it to the hometown station. I well. love it. We are adding a director of Veterans Affairs, and he's a well-known face here in our valley, and that's Bill Reynolds. Bill, welcome. Thank you, Carl. It's a, it's a sincere pleasure to be here this morning. Yeah, and it's, this is exciting because, Bill, you've been uh, – and we'll get into your, your bio in a couple seconds, but, but what's going to be happening, and if you go to hometownstation.com in, in a couple hours, we're going to be posting a whole article and feature about you so those who are listening now can learn all the dirt about <laughs> Bill Reynolds. But, uh, but starting tomorrow, we're going to be launching a series that you've, been, you've already been doing for quite some time, and that's interviewing our local vets one-on-one, -on -one, hearing their stories. And what's cool about it is it's coming from your perspective, being a Vietnam vet yourself. Well, it has been, uh, it's been an honor for me the last several years to, to have interviewed so many of our local veterans. Uh, I spend a couple of hours with each veteran, scribbling down their stories, writing them, reviewing the stories with them to make sure I have it accurate, uh, scanning their photographs, cleaning them up with Adobe Photoshop. And it's been it's really been a passion of mine, a labor of love, and it it, it comes. From, I'm motivated, I, I suppose. My passion derives from having served in combat in Vietnam and lost so many of my fellow brothers. Uh, you never forget them, and and it's always uh, I always remember my fallen brothers and and the veterans who serve our country. By the way, I got to mention uh, today is the first anniversary of the unveiling of our uh, unveiling ceremony of our Fallen Warriors Monument right here at uh, the historical plaza. Can't believe a whole year has gone wow. by. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know that just zipped by, but uh, everyone can see it by simply walking over to uh, the veteran memorial here in Old Town New Hall. I, what's cool about what you do, Bill, is is I know. Having been very, very close to my, my dad, who's no longer around anymore, and, and knowing my dad knew that my son was going to West Point before he yeah. passed away, my dad was very quite – he was injured in World War II, didn't, mm. didn't, lost a lot of buddies, and was never open about sharing things with me, stories. Yeah. I'd get little pieces. But he opened up to my son in ways that he didn't open up to anyone else. And, and I, so I watched and saw from a distance that communication and being able to have a vet talk to another military person is, is a whole different experience. And I guess you're, because of that, you're able to get some gems and get, take those walls down in a way that, that if I was doing the interview, I couldn't do that. Well, I, I, think, th I think there's a lot of truth in that, Carl. Um, I, when I'm talking to the veterans, uh, you know, I go into places where maybe they don't really want to go, and sometimes it's emotional. Uh, we, they start dredging up the memories of, of their experiences. Not, not all veterans, but, but, you know, my goal has always been to, to uh, honor anyone who served in, in our military. You don't have to have been a combat guy or fighter pilot, you know, or a submariner. Uh, if you served our country, I want to talk to you, and uh, and it's gosh, it's been great. I'm telling you. So uh, anyone who's a vet out there who wants to be featured, or if you know a vet who should be featured, be sure to get in touch with us here at the station. We'll make sure Bill gets that information and sets something up. Starting tomorrow, you're going to see the first feature, and that's with who? Bernie Katz, Korean War veteran. Uh, I had interviewed uh, Bernie in the past. But he recently contacted me, and he was he was so moved by the honor flight trip that he took to Washington D.C. His son escorted him, and uh, they went to all of the monuments. Uh, they they met uh, Congressman Kevin McCarthy there, who gave him a personal tour of the White House, uh, not the White House, but the Capitol building, and and that's exciting. So we're going to get all those details in tomorrow's 
feature from Bill Reynolds at hometownstation.com. We'll be posting Minfo on Bill as well later today. And welcome as welcome part of the Welcome to the KHTS family. <laughs> Just Thank in you, time Carl. for the holidays. <laughs>